So, hello everyone. Um, welcome once again to a new uh, episode of our podcast here at uh, Euroshop 2023. And uh, I have the privilege, I have to say today, to have here with me a uh, friend, Giovanni De Filippo, also uh, our vice president at Lenovo EMEA for uh, Infrastructure Solution Group. Um, Welcome. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank yeah. you for having me. Thank you. And uh, let me give a brief introduction Please. to the audience. Uh, man of like endless experience. <laughs> he started very young to work uh, in, uh, in finance. Correct. And then uh, based on, uh, on your profile, I see that you basically explore all the uh, possibility yes. within the IT industry. Yes. Um, going from... Uh, um, from SIP, IBM, now Lenovo, uh, you have seen the world really uh, transforming yes. across the years. Yes. Um, I give you uh, the, the possibility to, yes. to, to tell us a little bit excellent. more about your life. E excellent, right? excellent. The reason why you know, I changed from the financial industry in the early years and to go to, into the IT industry is I was always fascinated how IT can become a business enabler. And, you know, when you work in IT, you have to be at the edge. You really have to be at the edge. You have to learn every single day. You have to understand how this industry is evolving and changing and able and capable to drive other industries to growth and, and to really evolve other industries. And that really made me, uh, I mean, every, every single day is making this me tick. And that's why I'm excited. I'm now in, the, in this industry for almost uh, more than 30 years and I'm very, very excited about to be now also here at Lenovo, I have to say. Uh, Lenovo, as a Fortune 500 company, ranked 171 from a numbers perspective. Now, you know, we, uh, in a year ago, we did 72 billion, which is a really a significant amount and growing very fast during the pandemic. So I'm very pleased that I was able to be part of this journey. I really enjoyed this journey. It was stretching us as an organization. But also, you know, we have been able to give something back to the society when you look, you know, from during the pandemic. So that was really something which is also close to my heart. I really believe I want to work in an industry which is helping the society to evolve. Yeah. And now here we are and at Euroshop. And to solve challenges. And to, so, and to solve challenges. Research, exactly. Like it's something exactly. That, yes. The collaboration between uh, Lenovo and research institution, top exactly. research institution exactly. in the world is yes. something we have to be yes. really proud of. Yes. Now, uh, 30 years, yes, a long time. Yes, uh, you witnessed uh, and you led the digital transformation yes. within the industry. Yes, uh, several yes. industry like all yes. the major verticals. Yes. And um, I, and I think in 30 years, how many things has changed, right? Like, and uh, and how many also social political condition we have seen, and uh, Euroshop 2023. This uh, big uh, trade fair happening once every three years, or uh, the first time in the history, it happened uh, once uh, every four years. Yeah, because of pandemic. Yeah, right. Big uh, uh, red light uh, stop to all this event, um, but also big impact uh, to the vertical industry. Exactly. They are uh, basically yeah. focusing on, and uh, so I want to hear from you. Um, like your standpoint on what happened uh, during this year yes. in the retail industry, yes. uh, the disruption, yes. big disruption yes. that uh, the industry had, yes. and uh, what are the major challenges yes. be beyond like the social yes. political conditions yes. uh, that this industry is yes. seeing nowadays. Yes. When you look to the retail, I remember myself going, you know, when I was a young kid, going to a shop, a, a grocery shop, you know, very traditional. You have been going, you have been picking, you know, your stuff and then brick and mortar. Yeah, exactly, brick and mortar. You're going to the going then to the to the cashier, paying and leaving and going home. Now, being here at Euroshop for the first time, and as you rightly said, uh, Valerio, you know, this this uh, event is now happening every three years. And just walking around and seeing what we ourselves are ex are presenting, uh, you know, displaying is mind blowing. And what I particularly can see that the industry is thinking more about customer experience first, but it's also thinking about how they can become more productive, how they can, how they can not only solve, but also save money, of course, 
because when you talk about retail, we talk about not only customer experience, we talk about supply chain as an impact. We talk about really how the, the store should look like, that they will be efficient and effective in regard of that the person or the, the, the consumer going to the store is buying more. So the customer experience is extremely important. And here, again, comes the IT. And when I think about IT, in particular now, it's an, it's, a, it's an environment where we really believe that we can bring a significant value with our compute, but also our storage and AI capabilities. In particular, AI is becoming more and more important Absolutely. because artificial intelligence is needed then you have to an analyze analysis. We have to do an analysis on big data, so massive data. And they, uh, they, and they have massive data, not only on the consumer, but also on the supplier, and on and then also, of course, on the uh, yeah consumer supplier. But then also, what's happening in the store? So when I look now, what we are showcasing here with uh, not only with young uh, organizations, but also with uh, large organizations which have. Uh, a dominant play in the market. For me, it's fascinating to see how now finally, you know, the data center business, which we were talking many, many years ago, is now moving, the computer is moving out from the data center to the store. And where the st where, and this is important because at the stores where the data is produced, where the consumer is, so they can prevent the latencies. And again, more importantly, again, is really when you do, I'll give an example, self-checkout. I was uh, trying yesterday here at the Euro shop a self-checkout, and I was amazed how easy this is. This is a beautiful customer experience, which I would love to see in my own city, in my own village I'm living, at my grocery, because I don't then need any, any, any person anymore. I go in to any kind of time, and I buy my equipment and my, my grocery stuff. I check out, and it's an absolutely gorgeous experience. You know, It's fast. It's clean, it's, it's, it's effective, it's, it's efficient. Flexible. Like and it's flexible. AI is exactly. giving like extreme flexibility yes. to the way we yes. structure software. Yes. Uh, you were talking about the application we have at the, uh, the, at the booth. Exactly. With, uh, yes. Byte, like, like, like based exactly. on computer vision. Yes. And the, yeah, like you go beyond like a serial number yes. like, or QR yes. code and yes. you scan the product yes. as it is. Yes. And you have the flexibility yes. to update yes. your... Uh, you know your stock, yes. um, and and have uh, like immediately having the model exactly. or the application yes. working, yes. Uh, so that you don't have yes. any downs. Exactly. Yeah, it's amazing. And uh, computer vision, uh, like uh, I mean, the, right now there are all talks about, and like you talk about engagement in the store, like there is a lot of talking about you know, virtual assistant, like in the, you have computer vision, these uh, AI application are taking really like are spreading all over the place. In but there are, um, you know, some challenges that needs to be solved that these models are getting quite big and they are very computersy. Um, you mentioned one word that during your presentation, you said like you, you have to stay at the edge. Yes. Edge. Yes. Yes. So, when I'm saying we stay at the, at the edge, this also requires from a Lenovo perspective that we keep investing in our R&D. And Lenovo is very good. You know, we have a commitment from our chairman and CEO from YY that we are investing at least between 3 and 4% in our own R&D. But here comes now, I think, not only the beauty, but here comes the compelling event. We as an organization, we want to produce the best platform in the industry, which means we own our own IP, intellectual property. We are building, designing, manufacturing the platforms like edge computing. Mm -hmm. Here with White Lake, we have an SC350 edge computer. Includes you know, security functionalities. Then we have storage as an example. We have AI functionalities. This is what we have been building. Exactly, exactly. Form factor. Form factor, exactly. And it can be, you know, in a warmer, uh, installed in a warm area or in a colder area. You know, we, we, we all the climate conditions we, we consider, of course. And as you said, a, a piece of data center yes. outside. Exactly, the center, exactly. Which is like one of the most challenging yes. things to do. Yes, exactly. And, 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 and this, you know, was not, we were not able and capable to do this in the, in the past years. Yep. So now this trend has been accelerating. We see more and more industries thinking about applying edge computing 
at the at the forefront where the customers are, where the buyers are, you know, where the yeah, compute, the data. the data is exactly. And uh, so I'm I'm fascinated, but I want to add something. We know exactly where we are good, so we understand our core competence, and that's why we are adding our partners that, you know, on top we have, we build a partner ecosystems of ISVs, independent software vendors, like Bidelate, yeah. you know, we, we, we saw here, or, or, or exactly, the significance, which is also very interesting as, a, as an AI solution. And then, of course, we are also looking for partners helping us to resell, you know, these solutions into the right industries. Like here, of course, it's retail, you know, so. And I... I think it's something that I that I find interesting and really I, I feel very proud of it uh, is the fact that this reality that we are presenting at the booth by like the ecosystem that we are creating that we are creating are also um, gems that we have in uh, in Europe yes. in EMEA, yes. uh, which is something that um, um, allows us to proudly say that we are competing against the other major yes. markets where like we see the explosion yes. of uh, yes. you know the IT industry if you think about the US you, you think about PRC we are present we have yes. presence there yes. but having yes. local realities yes. allows us yes. to address a yes. major problem in our territory and also comply with some regulation that are different right now in terms of AI there is a huge discussion like a very complex uh, uh, you know, elaboration of what are the regulations, exactly. what, how, how to manage uh, data privacy and all these things. So having exactly. local realities, yes. yeah. helping us yes. out to build solutions yes. allows us also to, yes. have, to comply with all those regulations. Yes. So um, I want you to give the opportunity because I, I think what we are showing like at the boot is really like uh, a strong presence of Lenovo from end to end. Correct. And uh, I want to give you yes. like the possibility yes. to uh, to tell to yes. our to audience, audience. Yes. yeah, like yes. what is our main message, yes. like a smart yes. technology yes. for all. Yes. What does it mean? Yes. What does it mean? It means, first of all, that the company, our company, is reinventing ourselves. You know, when you when you think from a seventy-two billion dollar business, you know, we did sixty billion. We did in PC, so in devices, notebooks, PCs, mobile phones, you know, uh, at screens. We are doing ten, eleven billion in infrastructure solutions group, and we did roughly about five billion in services and solutions. So we are now really reinventing ourselves. We are now we are on a on a journey. I'm calling this a journey. We want to transition. Why do we want to transition? Because we do believe that uh, you know when you talk about smart technology for all, it's all about how we solve industries or humanity biggest challenges, and that means that we need to create competitive and compelling comprehensive solutions, helping organizations now to leapfrog in their own industry. So we want to become a leading, and not only the leading, but the largest IT solutions provider on the planet. This will take us some years. Why, why our chairman and CEO has not given us a time frame, but we all know when we started the journey on the PC side, in seven years, we, we became the number one PC vendor on the planet, 25% market share. So I would say over the next three, four, five, six years, we will see an acceleration on this transition to become the largest leading IT solutions provider. I'm convinced, and uh, I'm, I have to say I'm convinced because in my conversations with executives on the, on the customer side, on the partner side, but also with analysts, I can clearly see that they also see from an outside perspective the transformation. I give you an example. I, this is my third event, you know, where we have our own booths in uh, you know where we are presenting solutions industry solutions and i had recently a very interesting conversation with a ceo at coming to me at one of these events and he asked me giovanni is lenovo still in the pc business and i said yes of course we are still in the pc business but you know we want to become relevant to our customers and our prospects and this requires understanding your industry understanding what kind of solution we can build with ISVs and partners, 
then I call it turn, build a turnkey solutions and then come to you and install, deploy and make sure that you, we are not only meeting your expectation, we are exceeding your expectation. I'm, I have uh, started to use a phrase in, uh, when I started at, at, uh, at, Len at Lenovo. I don't, I don't want just to talk about customer satisfaction. I want to talk about delighting customers. I want to delight, I want to delight the customers because when you delight the customers, you're exceeding expectations and the customer's coming back to you and, of course, is asking for more. And that's exactly what we want. And it's a chain of it, value, right? Like exactly. We delight our yes. customers so that yes. our customer can delight that. Exactly. Customer. And, um, yeah, just to wrap up here, uh, you were talking about, like, going fast, like, leaping, uh, from Leap leaving, leaving, exactly, uh, yeah. like, uh, to stay yeah. ahead of yeah. the, the technology. And uh, an example that I like to give all the time is uh, a sentence from like a metaphor that Bostrom, Nick Bostrom, a uh, scientist uh, made uh, like by comparing like bike racing, uh, what, what happened in technology, uh, you, you can uh, stay ahead of the competitor and shield them from the wind and challenges and they can uh, leverage that, that advantage, that advantage Bankers, as yes. their advantage. Yes. But when you leapfrog, when the gap between the head and the, and the rest of yes. the followers is too big, yes. you absolutely run the race. Yes. Like you win yes. the race exactly. and they can yes. also catch up. Yes. So yes. this is, I guess, like our strategy, yes. like Lenovo's yes. strategy. And, uh, and I, I think like also our customer yes. will benefit out yes. of it. Like yes. The fact that, and I've seen many times in our business also, uh, predicting or offering a solution uh, three years from now, two years from now, to, with technology yes. to come, yes. not with current yes. technology. Yes. So yes. shaping exactly. today the future yes. of yes. tomorrow. Yes. Yeah. I would like to make a final comment, if you allow yeah. me. Absolutely. And this is, we always talk about intelligence, digital transformation. And what it requires is we need to understand as a company, but also as a company serving customers and partners, what does it mean? It means use artificial intelligence, understand big data, and understand IoT. If you take these three components together, then you, know, you can build or we can build on your behalf together with our partner ecosystems and we can help you to accelerate on your journey to drive intelligent digital transformation within your own company. Absolutely. So that's where we see ourselves as an expert. And I would like to invite, of course, the audience you know, to reach out to us, to engage with us, because we can help you also to stay ahead of the game in your own industry. So thanks for the opportunity. Thank you, Giovanni. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much.